Hello friends, this is Kevin, aka Kman1, coming at you with another episode of Okami. In the last episode, we got here to the Imperial Palace, only to find... well, not only to find, but... and we found a brush power! Yay, brush powers! And the power it is... Mist. So we're able to now slow down time. Very, very useful power that I look forward to showing off a lot more in the future. And we are going to be using it to explore the area just a tiny little bit more. And by tiny little bit, I mean a lot more. Like, a lot, a lot. Do, 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 do. A lot, a lot. Do, do. Anyways, there was a clover that I couldn't quite get to in the last episode because I'm bad, so I'm going to be getting it right now. And I'll probably just cut to when I finally get to it. And here it is, and I'm pretty sure we're just going to get another 20 praise for it, but or we're going to miss it completely. Jeez, game. Yes, another 20 praise, which puts us at 300. I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade my wallet, actually, probably. Um, yeah, let's go for more money. I'm pretty sure we're only going to need that one more extra digit for anything required for the game. I might be mistaken on that, but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. So, anyways, now we can just walk under this beacon of light and get our way back up. So now, as you might have assumed, these blocking spiders are going to start causing some issues for us. But, if we slow down time, then we're not going to be able to climb down fast enough in order for them to stop us. Very, very nice. And if we come over here, we can actually talk to Kaguya, but it's not necessary, and so I'm not going to do it. Because I don't like wasting Niall's time. Slowing down time. See, now that I can slow down time, I won't be wasting nearly as much time. Anyways, over here, these broom guys will just be generally unpleasant towards you, but if you slow down time, then they can't be as unpleasant as they desire to be. The feet, the feet are still a bit of a problem, but... I barely dodged that, apparently. So, let's go ahead and finally be able to progress through the area. There are a bunch of golden gates here that are not necessary in the slightest. Okay, almost ran off the edge there. I keep on thinking that I'm working with like Luigi level physics, but I'm pretty sure it's a little bit more forgiving than that. Anyways. In order to solve this puzzle, you just need to put the water in that thing. And I want to say that'll get us something good. Will it? Will it? Will it? Will it? No. Okay. Well, that's something you can do with the... Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to use this as a platform. I'm so good at this game, guys. See? This is the, this is the quality Let's Playing content you're here for. I swear I've played this game before. Anyways, just gotta ride this platform spider up. And... We're now in the Emperor's Bedroom. And no, not like that. Hmm? Hey, look over there, Ami. Isn't that the Emperor? I'd heard he was sick in bed but I never expected him to be the source of that funky mist. Now, how are we going to straighten out this royal oaf? I mean, we're still too big to fit through his mosquito net. Well, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that the only way to go is up. I'm going to fight this blue demon squirrel real quick, because I can. I really just kind of want to, and it's not a required battle, so I'm just going to cut it out. Not going to lie, I didn't play that fight super well, but I got three demon fangs out of it, so I'm not going to lie. And also, I thought that the Thunder Mirror's full finisher was... Uh, I fell off. I thought that the Thunder Mirror's full finisher was also missed, but as it turns out, I was mistaken, or I just didn't do it correctly, which is actually a far more reasonable possibility. And are you going to come down, Mr. Platform Spider? Or misses, I don't know. I know that a lot of spiders will, like, kill off all the males that aren't actively breeding, but I don't know. Platform spiders are definitely not your run-of-the-mill real-world spiders. Anyways, now we're up here, 
And up here there are actually a lot of items you can collect for money, but I'm not doing that bad on cash right now, so I'm not feeling it's overly necessary. Also, you don't actually need to use mist in order to complete this area, but it does make it a lot easier. Also, there are these guys who probably don't take... Oh, okay, yeah, these guys. Ha! 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 Okay, I messed that up. Ha! Ha! Yeah, these platform spiders are moving, you know, nice and, nice and slow, nice and steady pace for you, but then they go breakneck speeds the second you jump onto them. There are a lot of things that are just stressing me out about this game recently, I swear. And don't take it to mean I don't enjoy these aspects of the game, but it's just like, when you forget how they work, and then you just go back into playing, then it becomes like, yeah, no, I'm not a fan of this. But yeah, you just saw, that was like the worst possible mist anyone has ever drawn, but it still counted. Because, you know, why the heck not? Anyways, here we are at the Emperor's face mouth. Check it out, Ami. The Emperor is directly below us. It's like that royal oaf's mouth is just begging to dive on in. Just begging us to dive on in. Except he doesn't actually have a mouth, which is odd. So, whatever. Let's just go ahead and jump down. And look, it's his uvula. Are we inside the emperor's body now? Wow, I mean, you're one fearless wolf. This should be the fastest way to get to the root of the problem. Hey, what's this funny looking thing here? Oh, I know. It's that dangly thing that hangs down in the back of the throat. I bet if we tickled it, this royal oaf would sneeze. That's probably our best bet for getting out of here. But let's save that for later. We're going the other way now. Yes, there's nothing to do but go further down into the Emperor's stomach. And maybe we'll find the source of his disease and be able to do something about it. Origin Mirror here, I am actually going to, for the first time ever, save in the middle of an episode, so see back in just a moment. Alright. So let's go ahead on in here. I wonder what's in there. I have a feeling we're in for trouble. You're not gonna turn back now, are you, Ami? Wanna turn back? No way. Good answer. Okay, you know the drill. Leap before you think. Again, terrible life advice, actually, children. Don't always think through your big decisions before you make them. Anyways, ignore Golden Gate because I just saved normally. And I honestly feel Golden Gates are more inconvenient than actually helpful most of the time, but that's just me. Anyways, kind of an odd-looking battlefield if you ask me, but eh, it'll have to do. Because yes, it is time for a boss fight. Against a sword. No way. This is insane. That mist. It's alive, Ami. Meet Blight, the boss of this area. Under my control, this body breathes evil mist over the city. And you, what? You dare attempt to clear the skies of my poison? Waging battle with me inside a human body will be no easy task. Even now, Goldnail, the mighty sword, cries out for your blood. Come, step forward so that I, the indomitable Blight, may cut you down. And Isun is jumping into action. Hehehe, <laughs> I'll step forward alright. You're a real piece of work, Blight. Better say your prayers. You uncultured wretch. Get it? Uncultured? Because he's a disease? A culture? Okay. Be warned, we are in the very bowels of the Emperor. If we fight here, his body will not. Give me a break. A little action here will help him wake up. But never mind that. You're the one behind that poison mist. Possessing a human body may be an elaborate trick, but it ends now. With my supreme blade, Denkumaru, I, the magnificent Isu, shall 
rend that hunk of junk you call a sword. So now it's time for the battle against Blight, and as you might expect, his weakness is the power we just got. Alright, so first thing you gotta do is, when he's readying up an attack, you just gotta go for the mist, and then... He'll be like, what? How could you possibly dodge my attack? Oh, wait, right. You've got to aim for the sword after you've, like, disabled him. And I forgot that, so I missed out on a little bit of potential damage, but it's not a huge thing, because it's not. I mean, whatever. And so, he is doing another attack that he just countered by misting. And now he's summoning some swords, and guess what you gotta do? You guess power slash them, you guess correctly. And just gonna deal as much damage as possible. And really, that attack's kind of a jerk because it doesn't really give you a chance to, like, damage him that much. But we're still doing alright on time for this fight, I'm pretty sure. I don't know exactly how fast you need to do it. Just gonna miss this guy. Okay, you are actually able to attack him during the slowdown period, which is fine by me. And we can get our third hit in, which will deal a lot more damage. I didn't mention it, but I did it off screen and I got um, the advanced glaive combo move. So yeah, third strikes deal a lot more damage and you should definitely be taking advantage of that where possible. They're just going to slow down time, charge up an attack, and this should be it. Not a bad run in that fight. Probably not the fastest possible, but I, I did okay for myself, I think. That was an awesome death sound. And we get ourselves a new weapon. And I forget the name of them off the top of my head. But it's another wizard, at the very least. You obtained Divine Instrument, Exorcism Beads. Purifying Rosary that contains the power of Holy Light. Blight, a disease residing within the Emperor's body and born of the intense hatred and evil of the cursed sword Goldnail, was the source of the acrid mist that had plagued the capital's city's citizenry. But even a creature so despicable and full of hatred was no match for our intrepid heroes, Mataras and Isu. Blight's defeat brought with it a lifting of the acrid fog. The Emperor, now freed of evil's influence, returned to normal. Amantaras and the others had earned a brief moment of, res of respite. However, evil conspired to cut the tranquil scene short. Goldnail's defeated form rose the familiar blackness, the spirit of evil and hatred that had resided within the sword. Black as midnight and deep as the sea, rose slowly skyward. Make no mistake, this was undoubtedly one of the foul spirits that dispersed from Orochi's broken body. <clears throat> Quickly and steadily it rose, then it shot off toward the distant sea and over the horizon. It moved with purpose, as if to a rendezvous with a lost friend. Amateras and the others had no time to rest. If they were truly to restore the capital to its normal routine, they still had to deal with the threat of the water dragon. This tale is far from over. Hey you! Aren't you forgetting something? You had it coming, big time. You had it coming big time, gas bag. You aren't even in the same league as the magnificent Isun. Well, Furball, that's that. How about one of those victory howls? Oh wait, I almost forgot. That babe Kagi is still locked up. Mommy. Seems Pops is still snoozing away. How about we just take control and make him unlock her cell? Why bother with waking him up to explain everything, anyway? 
gosh, the text is so slow. I know I'm complaining about that a lot, but seriously. Huh? You don't get it, do you? Watch and learn, my furry friend. As you may be aware, by jumping up and down in someone's stomach, you can actually take control of their body. First, I'll stir up his stomach like this, and then... What the? Yikes! But now it's time for one of my more favorite sequences in the game. What the? Hey, are you okay, Ami? Looks like we managed to make the Emperor stand up. Come on, we gotta get this royal loaf moving. Let's get him over to where they're holding Kaguya. Yes, you can actually take control of his body. Ack! I guess this controlling humans business is harder than it looks. We gotta get Big Shot over to Kaguya's cell, not this way. Okay, let's head for a cell now. But yes, we're actually controlling the Emperor! This is... this is interesting, to say the very least. Your Highness, you're well enough to walk around again? That Kaguya girl was in prison just as you ordered, sire. But she's done no wrong, so I can't understand why. Or, um, not that I'm doubting your bountiful wisdom, Your Highness. Well, let's just mosey on along. And see what we can do. Your Highness, I know you've already refused to see a doctor, but surely it would be wise to seek treatment. Some people are even starting to say your illness is what's... Er, um, not that I think anything of the sort, of course. That's what I thought. Defer to my authority, for I am the Emperor. Are you the Emperor? But if you're here, does that mean those two are... Oh dear, it's all my fault. How shall I ever apologize? Hmm, let's see. How about you start off by making me a hundred dumplings? Huh? Hey, hey, just pulling your legs, sweetie. That voice. You think we'd buy the farm that easy? The Emperor was being controlled by a nasty stomach virus. But we took care of it. Things should get back to normal soon. Now let's make this royal oaf open your cell. Let's see. Oh, thank you. I thought I'd never get out of there. No time for chit-chat, bamboo girl. We freed the emperor from that monster controlling him. Things are still a bit dicey around here. We're gonna hightail it out of this place. I suggest you do too. Now let's see here. Oh yeah, coochie coochie coo. We tickled the uvula. Hehe, <laughs> I can tell what you want to do, Ami. I agree. That'll make it feel like we've set things straight here. I mean, you've already freed that bamboo girl. Now, give one of those victory howls to wake up the Emperor. Woof. That was my victory howl. You might think, wow, this is a great place to end the episode, but it's not quite what I want to do. Especially since I did cut out that... Really? Wow. Uh, I'll take... We take those. That, those are the things that we... That... I'm happy with that outcome. Yes. And actually, no, I didn't want to save the game. Crap, I wasn't paying attention. People say I took to my bed with an illness, but I don't recall. I remember meeting with a bamboo seller called Kaguya, and I remember a secret treasure for crossing a sea of fire. But I've totally lost my memory of what happened after that. It's almost like I was possessed by a strange spirit. Bah, talk about a troublesome emperor. But Kaguya is safe and all. Guess we can cut him some slack. A white wolf, and a curious bouncing ball. I have an uncanny feeling that I had a dream about you two. I must apologize to Queen Himiko for my unforgivable bl unforgivable blunders. Himiko? Yes, that's it, Ami. This city's a complete mess, and Queen Himiko's not doing a thing at all. There's no excuse for her just sitting around in her palace. Boy, am I gonna give her a piece of my mind. Ah, the lovely light white wolf. For some reason, I seem to feel so relaxed when you're around. I have this peaceful feeling, as if you know me inside out. Oh, I know you from the inside, believe me. I'm collecting demon fangs, you know. If you have any for me, you can take some of my treasure. People will probably say I'm foolish giving treasure to a wolf, but you're my lucky wolf. I'm certain some good will come of it. Surely you've collected lots of them, eh? What do you think? Would you like to make a swap? 
Yes, we finally have another Demon Fang Merchant. And there are two very interesting things that I recommend picking up. That's the Golden Ink Pot and the Fog Pot. I'm just going to go ahead and grind for the Golden Ink Pot off screen, but basically I'm pretty sure it triples your ink restoration speed. Very, very useful, and I'll probably have that just between episodes. But what we really want to do right now is grab the Fog Pot. Ah, I'm not this. Origin of all that is good, and mother to us all. Our separation had weakened me. My power had scattered like mist. Your heart, pure enough to pierce the darkness, reawakened me. The seal of mist will protect you. The power has reached its peak. I hereby bestow upon you the power of Mist Warp. Yes, we have unlocked a secondary ability of mist. Whoa, never expected something like that from a flask. Bet that royal oaf didn't even know what was in this thing. Now about Mist Warp, I don't know exactly how to use it, but the important thing is you got another technique back. And this will probably just be a technique scroll for it. I'll show up Mist Warp once we have an opportunity to, rather than trying to force it right now. So, don't expect that anytime soon necessarily. Anyways, if we open this chest right here, then there's a rooster statue. And that's pretty much all I have for this episode. Um, we defeated Blight and got here to the palace. And I want to say there are a couple collectibles around here. Um, I'll only show if there's like a stray bead. But in, this, in the next episode, we're going to be doing a little bit more around Seon City. It's probably going to be mostly a side questy type video rather than progressing the main story. But I'm sure you understand. We've been doing a lot of story stuff lately. And I was right, there's a stray bead. Cool. See you guys next time.